The display property plays an important role when it comes to placement of elements. Two of the most commonly used controls are block and inline block. These controls are located under the Styles Pane Layout section. Let's dive into these controls to better understand how they work to place your content in the desired location. The Display Block property reigns king as most elements are set to block by default. This setting means the element will take up all the available horizontal space unless they are specifically told not to through the Width and Max Width properties. Elements set to block will always stack on the canvas even if there's enough space left over on the screen to sit next to each other. Working with the picture element is a good example of this. Every image that is added to the canvas with display block, regardless of size, will always stack vertically. Block level elements that do not take up the full space can be left aligned, right aligned, or horizontally centered using the auto values for margins. Now what if two images need to be placed next to each other within the same container? Then you would choose Display Inline Block. This method would place both items side by side within the same parent container. Items would flow downward, space permitting. Just like block elements, they can be moved from that position using margin and padding. The width and height properties continue to be respected by the browser, similar to how they work for block level elements. However, inline block elements cannot be centered with the margin controls. In this case, centering using display flex to center the items in the container. For text-based elements, you would use the text align control found under the typography section. This introduces you to the basics of the display controls. These trusty CSS properties help get you the perfect content placement.